Hey guys, can you see me? Am I focused? Hey, Frank Fulci here. Uh, another unboxing haul video. This is actually gonna be the first part of a two part video, I guess. I don't know. I'll probably do a regular video tomorrow. This one is just my arrow sale pickups from Arrow Directly, from Zavi.com, the arrow sale, and even Barnes & Noble had an arrow sale. And interestingly enough, there's a decent amount of stuff here, but I'm actually waiting for another order directly from Arrow.com. But that shit hasn't come, so it'll be coming in the middle of the week, so you won't be seeing that yet. Anyway, I have a lot of other stuff that I'll be doing in a video tomorrow. Uh, it's way too much to do in one video, so I just figured I'd separate this off by itself. First, let's jump into the Barnes & Noble one. Well, let's get this out of the way. Hopefully this is the right Barnes & Noble box, because I did get another one that has some Criterion stuff in it. I'm hoping this is the right one, and I don't have to get up to grab the other one. But, let's see. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of Arrow titles in here. So, Barnes & Noble is doing a sale that is 50% uh, off of their, their listed price. So it's not cool. I mean, I guess technically it works out to be the same as the Arrow sale, which is buy one, get one free. Although they have sale prices too, so it's a little different. Anyway, one of these actually was sold out on the actual Arrow site, so I figured I'd get it through them instead. And the other, I just happened to see randomly through them. So first, this one is Double Face, and this is the one that was actually sold out through Arrow's website. I think this is one of the newer releases. Uh, this says $39.99. I definitely did not spend that much on it. It was half that, if even. I mean, yeah, there's 50. I think I spent $19.99 on this, which, again, for a newer title from Arrow, was amazing. Again, no way I was spending 40 on that. This has a uh, Klaus Kinski. I think this is a uh, not Giallo because not Italian. Ah, yeah, full length Italian version. Yeah, I guess it's a Giallo with Klaus Kinski. And then the other one, technically not even a horror movie, but Robert De Niro in Ronin. I've been eyeballing this one from Arrow for a while now. It also has the dude, I forget his name, from Leon the Professional. Uh, yeah, I've been, check been wanting to check this one out for a while, so I jumped on that price. Next up, we'll do the Zavi ones. So Zavi, same thing as the Arrow, buy one, get one free. So I wanted to test the shipping and see which one came faster. It took me forever to get my Arrow directly. And like I said, I put in another order and I still haven't gotten that one. So, I don't know, some people got that shit within a day, which is odd because it's coming from the UK. And, uh, you know, it took me over a week to get mine. So, first in that Zavi shipment is the ring collection. Uh, funny thing is I actually have the first uh, version of the ring collection that they put out, like only a month previous to this. The only difference was the black box and I think a booklet. This one, I mean, that must have sold out pretty quickly for them to put this out. So this doesn't have a booklet and it's all white artwork. Again, I didn't mind double dipping because one, I like the white. And two, it was free, technically. So the other one that I ordered with that one came in a separate shipment. But this is the one I technically paid for, if you want to think of it that way. And that is another huge box set. And this is one I'm excited about because I love the Arrow box sets. And that is Volume 2 of American Horror Project. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have been showing this off, so you guys probably know a little bit about it already. But it has The Child, Dark August, and Dream No Evil. Uh, three movies that I'm actually unfamiliar with. Surprise, right? I'm unfamiliar with most things that you guys see me opening up. But, um, yeah, excited to check that out. Again, couldn't beat the prices and the deals. And last, in this short Arrow video, guys, I have the order from the actual Arrow website. Again, I did put the order in, but we're waiting on that still, so let's just go through this one. This one has a bunch of titles, again, ones that I was had my eye on for a while, or others that just actually just came out, so I was surprised they even had sale prices and were part of the sale. Either way, I couldn't pass them up. So, let's jump right into it. First, this one's not even horror, but I've been hearing everybody talk about how great of a film this is, and I'm actually pretty amped to check this out finally. I might actually watch this one tonight. Um, Heathers, with Winona Ryder and Christian Slater. Uh, I've been watching a little bit of The Stranger Things Season 3, so I love me some Winona Ryder right about now. So definitely want to check that one out. 
Next up, again, not necessarily horror. I think this might even might be a thriller of some kind. That's Kurt Russell in dark blue. Hopefully you guys can see that without a glare. Uh, yeah, I actually was going to pick this up on another recent sale, but I didn't end up get, grabbing it, so I figured why not do it now. Next up is Colobos. I actually did a review of this on the site because I had gotten a screener copy of it um, from Arrow and MVD. Uh, this one was alright. It's a slasher mixed with, like, saw-type elements, like the house is booby-trapped and shit like that. Uh, it was pretty good. Not the best. It, what, you guys can read my full review. I'll link it down below. It was okay. Obviously, enough for me to buy it, so... We'll have that in the collection at least. Maybe I'll revisit it down the line sometime. Next up, this is another one that I think is a newer title. I, again, surprised that it was up there. I didn't even really know it was announced, honestly. And well, that is The Sender. Uh, this looks like a trippy... Uh, yeah, psychological type thriller or something. I don't really know. I don't know if it's a gory film, or, you know, straight thriller. I, I don't know what level this is at as far as horror goes, but... Interested to check that one out. Next up is Black Moon Rising with Tommy Lee Jones and Linda Hamilton, of course, of Terminator fame. Um, again, not sure what this is really about, but with the cast and the cover art and all that cool stuff, I had to pick it up. Uh, let's see. Buckle up for a ride in the Black Moon, a sleek, high-tech supercar powered by hydrogen and capable of speeds of over 300 miles per hour. Tommy Lee Jones... Stars as Sam Quint, a master thief working for the government who hides a computer disc loaded with evidence of corporate crime in a prototype supercar, the Black Moon. When a gang of thieves steals the car, Quint seduces their leader, Nina, played by Linda Hamilton, to get to the disc. But in order to reclaim his property, Quint and Nina must break into an impenetrable skyscraper and take down Ed Ryland, played by Robert Vaughn, the head of a dangerous stolen car syndicate. Fast-moving hy hydrogen-fueled action thriller. Written by John Carpenter. Oh, there you go. Say no more. John Carpenter, Thriller. Awesome. Next up, Trapped Alive. This cover art alone, tell me you wouldn't pick this up. I'm assuming, again, going by the cover art, that it is a, a slasher of some kind. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. The cover is dope. Um, Escaped Hoodlums and Underground Dwelling Cannibals. Alright, sold. Cannibals. This one is actually, I've heard mixed things about this. The cover art again looks sick. I think it's like a post apocalyptic type uh, sci fi uh, horror flick. Got a little dude's skull chilling in the desert sand, you know, just desolate wastelands. But I heard somebody say it's actually not that good and they were tricked by the cover as well. But we'll see. Defcon 4 is the name of that one. Next up, another Giallo. It's called The Iguana with the Tongue of Fire. Uh, filmed by Ricardo Freda. Uh, I'm not familiar with this one either. I know it's a giallo. Looks like it's from the early 70s. Yeah, can't go wrong with giallos from the 70s, guys. Here's Takashi Miike's Terraformers. Um, Takashi Miike is a crazy uh, director. He's had over 100 movies that he's directed, something like that. Again, I think I said in one of my recent videos of an unboxing of his films uh i mean he's made over 100 movies not all gonna be amazing although i'm sure there's some people out there that think they all are amazing in their own ways uh but yeah this is one i haven't checked out i think i also had a screener copy of this that i didn't actually get to check out yet but now i get the artwork and everything with it so cool to have that and last but not least guys is elvira mistress of the dark again this is another one that i uh, had almost bought in another sale recently but uh, didn't get it until now. So yeah, excited for that. Looks like my battery's gonna die any second now. So let me just end it there. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Again, I do have another Arrow shipment coming in sometime this week. And tomorrow you will be getting an unboxing of the rest of the crap I bought this week. So uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give me that thumbs up. Hit that little bell icon so you get notified, especially for tomorrow's video. And thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, peace. Be good. Thank you.